Hey everyone, it's Christian here, and for this uh, vlog, I'm going to do uh, Dipsis leptochilos, or leptochilos, however you want to pronounce the Latin name, better known as the redneck palm, or teddy bear palm. Now, there is some uh, misunderstanding about the nature of the, uh, of the name of redneck and teddy bear. Sometimes this plant is labeled Dipsis lesteliana, which is uh, a mislabeling. Dipsis lesteliana is an entirely different palm that is not found in cultivation and it's, it's used in conjunction with the, the teddy bear and they are two different species, one of which is com more common and is found right here. The other one is much less common and grows at higher altitude in Madagascar. But these are both from Madagascar. The teddy bear palm is actually really closely related to Dipsis decarii or the triangle palm and um, they both are a fatter trunk Dipsis. Um, they're in the Neodipsis subfamily of Dipsis, and they used to have they used to be called Neodipsis. So, uh, with that said, the, the reason this is called the teddy bear is because it has a teddy bear like fuzz to the crown. If I get real close here and see how fuzzy it is there, and it actually holds that in its entirety. This is a nice size palm here because of it is because of its uh, ability. You can you can see everything on it nicely without having to look up. And it's in a little bit of shade, so it has this nice deep green, uh, it has nice deep green leaflets that are slightly pendant, which is typical for the plant. They get a little more pendant as it gets older. And another uh, typical uh, coloring on this plant is the whitish uh, trunk after the old uh, leaf base has come off, and that's really nice. They kind of they stay white for a while, then they turn green um, after a longer time, or if they're in shade, they'll stay. Uh, white for much longer. So this plant normally grows in uh, in full sun and most, mostly the full sun. You can grow it in shade. Right now it is in about mostly shade and it's a nice, it's a decent sized plant. These can be skinnier or fatter. This is kind of in the middle of the pack there. And we'll, let's get a little view up here. The crown is, is more shuttlecock like than kind of arching and it does have a nice graceful look. Uh, it is it, it, it's a pretty uh, easy to grow pot on the, on the diff, I'd say on a difficulty scale of one to ten I'd say it's uh, probably just like a two or a three there's a you know there's a few things that it requires and that's about it um, relatively drought tolerant although I wouldn't you know starve it if I didn't have to um, and uh, like I said it, it, it does well with a little bit of shade it, it'll grow in full sun just fine just keep it nicely watered and I would say that this palm can probably tolerate down to about 27 degrees Fahrenheit. It, it'll it burn a little bit, but it'll come back. It's not quite as cold tolerant as the triangle, uh, it's, its cousin, but it is uh, it's still a great plant. It there's, not, it there's not much requirement. You can plant it in the ground. It's not gonna have, it doesn't succumb to a lot of fungus issues, some other problems. It is, it's not a heavy feeder. You don't need to give it a lot of fertilizer. You can and make it nice and fat, but it's, there's no requirement there. So um, let's get a little more of a view kind of of what's going, how this plant kind of merges up into the sky. And you see it has nice long leaflets. I mean, they're, they're beautiful. And they're, when mature, you know, they can be close to 15 feet long. And that's what makes this palm so nice. And, you know, people see this palm and it stands out. I mean, what other palm has teddy bear like looking like fuzz on it? So anyway, that's about now I'm going to also add in my descriptions the the seeds. When you find the seeds, the seeds are going to be perfectly round um, and a dark color. Uh, they're re relatively small, but the size of a uh, a small marble and uh, you throw them in a pot and with some heat they, they should germinate relatively quickly and uh, yeah that's pretty much the uh, cultivation requirements for it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do uh, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have, if you have any other questions about uh, Dipsis uh, leptokilos and uh, if you enjoy watching these videos uh, subscribe and there will be more coming in the near future have a nice day